Good evening, everyone. It's Papa John at our Kentucky home. Thanks for stopping by. I want to talk to you a little bit tonight about um, this whole form of saw that uh, I purchased a while back and I've been running. I seem to be real pleased with it. There has been one thing that I've noticed about this saw that um, absolutely was driving me up the wall and it is the chain tensioner um, when i first got it felt really cheap and um, real gritty when you would try to adjust the chain um, just before you'd snug the bar all the way down it was real gritty felt just felt cheap and uh, i thought i'd investigate it and i'll share with you um, i thought about um, buying a new one and putting it in it but uh, of course the way i like to work on these saws my choice was to pull it apart and find out what was going on so i'll share with you a little bit about what i did let me adjust this camera here so this thing felt, I'm, I'm not really sure if you can see this chain or not, but it felt really gritty before. Now it, it turns nice and smooth and adjusts the chain as it's supposed to and gets snug. I'm gonna back it off a little bit. And I'm gonna finish breaking this loose. And I'll pull this cover off. slides off nice and easy <clears throat> as you can see let me look at this make sure you're able to see what I'm doing here make sure there's enough light this is the actual adjuster that slides into the bar into place of the bar here moves the bar back and forth the adjuster, the adjustment nut is out here, or screw is out here. It takes a flat head or your scrunch. It normally is what I use in the field. Um, it's, a, it's a worm drive style gear, and I'll show you this. It has two Phillips screws that hold the gear together and in place. Basically, you take those two screws out, you can lift this right out of place. The whole screw drive mechanism comes right out. You can flip it over and look at it, and you can pull that out. The actual drive portion will slide out as well. What I found with this is the shank if you will there's a small little o-ring there was really dry and this shank was quite rough i took a little piece of emery cloth cleaned this up <clears throat> and simply just verified the inside of this was not gouged inside of the cover was nice and smooth just ran a, a small bottle brush through there with some cleaner just to make sure it was clean. And I simply, I'm gonna get some here to show you. I simply grease this with a little grease. Put a little grease on that, a little grease on the shaft. Slide it back in the hole. So there's plenty of grease. The worm drive, I keep greased. I also grease the, the screw shaft, the end of the screw where it fits in the holder, like so. And that slides back into this plastic housing that holds it. And I simply pack that with grease each time I take the saw down and clean it, good. I put a little grease in there like that. 
that slides back in that hole like so. Remember the adjuster has to be sticking to the inside of the cover. Flip the cover over, slide it back into the holder, the keeper if you will. Put it back into place. Usually rub a little extra grease around on it. Grab a rag. Put your screws back into place. I'm not sure if all the whole form of saws are like this. Um, you know, obviously they're not Husqvarna OEM parts and maybe their tolerances aren't as great. Um, but we, uh, it seems to work just fine for me. Keep it good and lubed like that. Put this back together. Slide it back into place. The dog slides on there like so. Put your nuts in place. And I'll try to I'll try to capture this a little bit to see if you can tell I won't put too much tension on that but I have this chain I'll see if I can move in a little closer here for you I'll loosen this chain right up you can see it's hanging quite loose I've got my scrunch in the I'll come around this way. Might be a little easier, let you see a little better. My scrunch back in there and nice and smooth now. It's just as smooth as silk in there. You can see it tighten the chain up. I'll do that again. Loosen it back up. Just take it up snug. Nice and smooth. What I always tend to do is Put a little upward pressure on the bar with the chain. Pull the chain down snug. Keep a little pressure on that. Before I snug the bar down, I keep pressure on up on the bar, which you're supposed to do. Snug it back into place. Boy, that chain is sharp. I can feel it biting into my fingers. Snug it. Nice smooth roll. Hands are a little greasy, so I have to be careful. Let me set this camera back a little bit. That's what I wanted to talk with you about. Um, a little bit of maintenance. When you first get the saw, these, like I said, this isn't a thousand eleven hundred dollar saw like if you were to buy OEM now don't get me wrong I love my Husqvarna saws and the OEM saws are nice but I wanted to try this thing and, and a little bit of tender love and care doesn't hurt a thing and and that's out of everything that I've come across with this saw so far that would be the one the one item that that has been a little bit of a thorn in my side when I first got it and um, I was thinking well you get what you pay for and, and you do in some cases but um, like I said just just a little bit of tender love and care and you don't have to go out and spend money um, to buy a new adjuster or chain chain cover um, OEM or, or anything like that uh, just take it apart and look at it it's real simple two screws in it is all that holds it together um, but uh, like I said I've been real pleased with this saw we're gonna tear her down again here in a few days and and um, put the OEM piston back in it and cylinder that I ported and and uh, we'll uh, 
we'll see how she runs versus the 52 millimeter big bore kit uh, the more i run this saw it has probably about 10 maybe 12 tanks of fuel through it um, i have noticed that the big bore kit obviously uses a little more fuel um, when you're when you're cutting big stuff with it and really going after it but uh, it has the power um, but uh, we're, we're going to do a comparison of the two the ported and and uh, and just the oem or excuse me the 52 millimeter uh, big bore kit uh, but the more i run this saw <clears throat> the better i like it uh, at first it seemed uh, with the with the small so or with the original 372 cylinder um, it was stock it it felt a little weak compared to other 372 Husqvarna's that I ran uh, just a, a little bit weak I went ahead and had the big bore kit and I put it in it and uh, it uh, it brought it to life it uh, really brought it to life it it'll it pulls a 24 inch bar uh, full chisel like uh, like it's an 18 inch bar <laughs> it just just goes just eats it up and like i said for a 300 dollars saw um, it, that's where you know if you're a homeowner you don't have the money for you know a a, a thousand twelve fifteen hundred dollar saw um, it might be a good it might be a good uh option for you it's uh sound the the plastic seems to be good and sturdy um the I think the trigger assembly uh, is much improved over the original ones the uh, original ones that I had felt um, but uh, the big bore kit with the base gasket delete and a dual port muffler uh, brought this brought this thing to life and uh, I'm, I'm hoping the port job on the 372 will uh, will please me as well uh, but uh, I just wanted to talk to you about that. That that's the one item that uh, on this saw that was a little bit of a thorn, but a little bit of little bit of care, a little bit of emery cloth, and uh, keeping that thing good and greased, and uh, it works like a charm. Um, we uh, we're going to continue making different types of videos for you here at our Kentucky home. Uh, my wife Ivanka has has made a video I think yesterday or the day before about how she grew potatoes uh, in sacks that she purchased this spring um, talking about our chickens and uh, all the time and, and our dogs uh, kind of an update on Piper um, or I'll give you a quick update on Piper our boxer dog uh, we're a little bit sad right now her cancer has returned and there's not a lot we can do for her but keep her comfortable and uh, if she starts to show signs of any kind of problems we'll we'll deal with it then but um anyways thanks for stopping by and and like i said the other night uh, remember our our friends and loved ones and family members possibly uh, over in eastern kentucky uh have had a terrible tragedy over there just not too many miles from us and uh, they need uh, prayers uh, they need donations water supplies cleaning supplies especially um, anything you might be able to do for for that cause would be fantastic uh, i'd like you to uh, like share um, subscribe to the channel if there's anything you'd like me to like me to do or explain better on saws or or anything we're doing here at, at our home at our kentucky home you just leave a comment we'll be happy to reply till next time god bless take care <laughs>